What's the password? Can I come in? Nah, that ain't it. Hey, groovy guys and gals, it's Johnny here. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I got a few cars given to me by Big Charlie's Garage. Charlie, he and I got together at a Denny's. I'm going to show you these cars. Ready? Let's take a look. These are pretty spectacular, and you'll know why. Hey cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman Supper Club. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Oh, so here's our cars that we're looking at today and the thing I got at a garage sale. But what I wanted to show you, these first. Now these cars here came from Opa. And with his passing, they are just so special. Charlie picked these out for me and handed them to me. And these are just so cool. Opa, I talked to just a couple times, but Charlie, he was such a good friend of Opa's. As he is to so many of us. Look at this custom car that Opa made. I am just honored as all get out to have two of his cars. Now this custom one is right up my alley. Big plow in the front, stretched out. So cool. Got a mid-engine uh, intake there, <laughs> but no engine underneath. And a big sack of Hot Wheel cars in the back. <laughs> so this is the Astro Rat that he started with on the base and then customized it, which I totally love. I always love these external lights like that on the 30s cars. And again, he painted in the details. And to me, when someone just does a custom car, just gorgeous. I love it when they do the details on it all. Check out Big Charlie's Garage. Now, he does a lot of die cast, but he also does... Um, I'm going to put that right in front of the supper club. He also does a lot of model kits, which is fantastic. Now, look at this car. This is also just a classic, classic car. This one's made in Great Britain. Now, I don't know if he painted this customized it or not but look at that stripe around the base this is um focus the man from uncle oh cool made in great britain so is this a corgi car Look, the hood opens on there, and there is there's nothing in there. This is a rear engine uh, car, but look how gorgeous that is. Now, I, I don't remember the car in Man From U.N.C.L.E., obviously, otherwise I would have called it out right away. But look, there's the Man From U.N.C.L.E. in there with his suit and tie. This is so amazing. Oh, he's got an alien or something it looks like in there. Nope, it's another guy. It's just a weird reflection. <laughs> an alien man from Uncle. Oh, see it? Blonde hair. I thought it might have shifted in the car seat, but it really didn't. Oh, Charlie, thank you so much. Those that are getting one of Opa's cars. Now, again, I want to just do a... Charlie is... Um, got... Opa gave Charlie his entire collection of cars. Okay? And asked Charlie to take care of them. And Charlie, he's just such a generous guy. He, he can't take care of all the cars... So what he has offered to do is go to his site on YouTube 
uh, Big Charlie's Garage, and <clears throat> he usually comments if if you don't know where his site is. If you go through the comments on one of my l l latest videos, just hit his name, and it'll take you to his site, and then you can get his address. And he's he can't cover postage for all these cars, but what he's going to do is he's going to just send out a car, and he's got a big box of cars he's just gonna reach in whatever car comes out that's the car you're gonna get and he's asking for to cover postage and handling on the box and the gas money to buy back and forth to the post office but you could have one of Opa's cars which I will treasure these because they came from Opa so go visit Big Charlie's garage and uh check him out uh he's a great guy if you haven't liked and subscribed to him do it <laughs> so there you go opus car sitting in front of the supper club oh opa we're gonna miss you and all that you've done for this hobby so let's get into these other cars here thanks big charlie for all you do for these people now, Big Charlie gave me these two cars as well. Now, this is a 34, 32 Ford delivery, which I just love a 30s car, especially delivery like this. It reminds me of my AFX cars growing up as a kid. This is Collector 996. Now, we've been looking at a lot of uh, cars on the card, which is okay. So, collect all the 1999 First Editions series of new models. So, this is a 99 car and dated 98 on the back. But look how beautiful this is. Plastic fenders on this, which I don't understand, but I'm sure that's a manufacturing uh, choice. But I'm surprised people aren't someone hasn't taken this off these fenders off and molded it and made a mold for metal and replaced those plastic fenders with actual metal fenders when they're refabbing oh 40 47 Ford man <laughs> go check him out his his builds are just amazing <laughs> I'm telling you just amazing Ford man you do crazy on this then Charlie gave me this caddy got it maybe there we go look at this Ken just gorgeous late late 40s what is it 41 early 40s Cadillac series 62 convertible coupe 34 of a hundred this thing is just beautiful now I was thinking this because the fleet lines had these uh, bars on it and maybe they're just copying it from Cadillac but the 46 7 8 fleet lines had those as an option on your big fenders and uh, that fleet line is one of the cool cars to find they are out there the, with the moon eyes the new ones released this year so that is pretty sweet all oh, right so thank you big charlie i know i've been absent and i've been hitting the stores and doing all sorts of other things but here are some more cars that i got now this polaris slingshot is not one of my favorite vehicles at all when i see them on the road they just look so ridiculous to me but that's just one opinion in a billion opinions and my opinion means nothing <laughs> so look at this though soda pop and I both laugh every time we see one of these things but I had to get it because they made one and I'm sure not a lot of these are selling because it's so goofy but you know I like goofy cars and so I had to get it. Matchbox actually has some really nice stuff. Here's the info on the Polaris. 
Oh, it's official licensing stuff, so. But, it's a fun Hot Wheel. It's a super treasure hunt! G-Man! <laughs> Shout out to the G-Man who always has my back. Thank you, G-Man, because let me tell you. I did a video and missed over a treasure hunt totally because I'm an ignoramus. <laughs> Ford man, look at this. <laughs> oh, check out the G-Man at uh, El, oh, El Camino Bandito. And I'm telling you, he's got some great finds and some great stuff. He is always commenting. The G-Man is in Southern California, and it is, he's got some great stuff. Go check him out. He goes on to different areas, too. This is a 32 Ford Coupe with flames. Now, the guys on Counting Cars, you know, they would be like, dude, that's lame, and they'd throw a different paint job on it. But for a Matchbox, this one's not bad. I kind of like it right so that one's pretty cool then I found this now Big Charlie gave me a Tesla semi truck and a Tesla car uh, convoy package and I'm like that is so cool and then I found one Tesla Roadster it's in a matte red which is the same one that's in the kit in this double kit series now I'm gonna do a video series on those I've got a bunch of those just to show you they're pretty cool but this one I'm like <laughs> I'm like my uh, like my mother-in-law she'd always talk about the kid that wasn't there and not enjoy the kid that's right in front of her <laughs> so I gotta enjoy this one this one with the matte finish Gorgeous. Headlights, gorgeous. Matchbox is really doing a great job on this. Now, I don't know if if Matchbox does, you know, the treasure hunt equivalent, but look at the details on this. This is just totally amazing. Got some DNA on there. And here's your base. Now, the base, little cheapy on there. We got a glare on there. 2020 Tesla Roadster, 2020 Mattel. But I was I was happy to find this. Now some of the cars I'm picking up just to show, but they wouldn't be cars that I would keep, you know, necessarily. They might go in the giveaway pile. But this one definitely I'm keeping. This one I really like. So we got a, a bunch here. Oh, guess what? I got my little rail stander here so we can put this out. Oh, uh, how soon I forget. Look at this. We can stand these up so you can see them. The carded cars. Now, Opa's cars are behind and we'll show those again. It just seems like I'm so far away from everything. There we go. Look at that. So there's our lineup. Now, just for all you weirdos like me, I picked this thing up. It's a charming bookmark for a dollar. Now, you guys know I love to cook and bake, and we make our own pizzas. We make our own tamales. We make our own pierogies. We make our own bread, English muffins. Uh, we've done flatbreads before. And I found this bookmark thing, and on it is a bunch of little charms. A rolling pin. The rolling pin I found was the guy's grandma, and he sold it for 10 cents. And I use it all the time to make pizzas. This has the measuring spoons, a rolling pin, and a pot on it. Now, what I love about this is old... Uh, Grandma Roman, my mom, she had a charm bracelet that was just amazing. Now, I can't get this out of the package. Um, her charm bracelet, 
I remember going with my dad and he would buy a charm at their anniversary or for her birthday and he'd go to this antique store. Now this is 50, 60 years ago. And he would buy a charm and the charm bracelet and keep adding it up. And they, she had all these really cool charms that kind of replicated things that were happening in our life at the time. And I always thought that was the coolest thing. My sister ended up getting that and pretty much all the other jewelry. <laughs> we got the uh, costume jewelry and uh, the leftovers. But anyways, this was a really cool thing. So I picked that up for a bucket. Now, this was at the same garage sale. We got some other stuff that I showed you earlier on. So that is good. We got so much stuff to show you. Look at this. These are just some stuff. And then I've got a prep table behind me that still has more stuff to go. But after this video, I wanted to give homage to Opa and his, his great work and life in this industry. Um, and there's his cars. And I'm going to probably do this way out of order. <laughs> because you know what Opa is pretty important so um, so I'm gonna probably kick one of my other videos out of the way and put this in its place so we can all enjoy and honor Opa and his legacy that he's leaving behind again contact Big Charlie and Big Charlie's garage and uh, model garage and um, Send him five bucks, and that could be a check or cash, or it could be an electronic form, I think he said. And send him your address, and he'll pick out a... I forget if it's a car, how how many cars for five dollars, but he's going to pick out a, just a random car. He's just going to reach into the box, and if you look at his videos, he shows you the box, and it is just loaded with cars in protective cases like this and he'll just pick out one case and whatever he picks is what you get it's not necessarily the car that you get it's you get a little piece of uh, Oprah's Oprah's artwork and his handiwork and that that's again to have something of his is just an honor so like and subscribe go check out the Ford man go check out uh, the G man uh, the people that are commenting all the time on my videos, they got great channels themselves. Go check out Big Charlie. Go check out uh, 25 Showgirl, Showgirl 25. Uh, Miss K. Uh, Saul, he's, he's doing a video about once a month. But it's always great to go visit Saul. Go check him out. Mick67, dude! He's got a polish series that is just unbelievable that he's showing off right now in his videos. He's polishing these cars. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And my favorite fisherman, Doc Has Dave, down in South Carolina area, he just caught his first ribbon fish. And let me tell you, that ribbon fish looks like a Hot Wheels super treasure hunt paint job on it that thing is wild go check him out and see what he's up to he's got some great cars too and throws in a uh a fishing video every once in a while and old johnny just loves diecast days fishing with his wife ah oh, he is living the life my friends diecast dave you are rocking it baby <laughs> The rest of you, thanks for coming into the Supper Club. Like and subscribe. And tell all your friends to come join us. I'm showing a lot of cars in the package. I'm going to cut these cards to the side. And I'm going to go uh, show you some stuff from the flea market. <laughs> so till next time, rock on, my babies. <laughs> rock on. I know you're a toy car case guy out there!
It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be!